spray you? Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. Right on the food. One time I come with him. That means he's no good now. He ain't got enough in him. And he gets a skunk. He, he just sprayed me. Make sure it's not on your food. Don't be eating that shit. <laughs> <sighs> Fuck, I shouldn't have drove past him. I'm stupid. <laughs> I knew he was gonna do it. I just knew it. If you look closely, one very mad Tupper Jay is coming. He's gonna shoot you again. Hmm? He's gonna get you again. He's locked and loaded. I don't know if y'all can see him, but he's right there. It's recording. Fifty-two percent better. Than <laughs> so, caught that beaver or the catch and cook you guys just watched yesterday. Down here at the bottom, I'm gonna put that trap back in. I didn't have waders, I got waders today. And I can see he moved my stake, so maybe I got one in that other trap. I got two traps, the 2850. This is, uh, I don't remember what I called this. Death Hill and. I don't remember. Hill of Death. I watched I it, it though. I called it Hill of Death. So the sock's coming back at You How'd you do with that beaver? Huh? How'd you do carrying that beaver? You died? I've carried three this season so far. Get you I a know. good workout. This trap's down the drowner, so we might have one. They're still going past my uh, stake I put here, guys. See how it's bent over? I had it straight up like this trying to deter him to come up on this other trap and they still knocked it over to the side like that. All right, here's the fun part. Setting these spicy 850s. They're spicy. You caught yourself yet? Huh? You caught yourself yet? No. Let's see if we got anything on here, hopefully. It's an otter today, hopefully. Hopefully. Ugh! Cause there are otters going up and down this. Mm -hmm. I hope we get at some point. <sighs> another beaver. Another beaver. Got another beaver, boy. Number four this season right here. And it, you wouldn't even understand why. I mean, why? I don't understand. Just a little guy. I'm well, not too little. Bit. Back foot. Back foot catch this time. Are you pretty good size? The set that never stops giving. We just needed to give us a water. Thankfully, it's a smaller one. <laughs> <laughs> Probably would have had a double auto oh, reset. Probably. <laughs> See the other poop? 
Oh yeah, I, I saw that in the video. take off I want to show you guys looks like we might have a beaver or maybe a raccoon it's hard to tell I can't really see it it's on a beaver slide there's several beaver slides going to this cornfield I have not been on that side to go check it out and see how much damage they did so we're just gonna fly the drone over the cornfield and see if you can see the circles so we get her started we and as soon as it's always as soon as I as soon as I uh, Start to try to want to fly the drone, it, the wind picks up, but this guy's pretty, he's pretty good at the wind, so. So I got the drone out flying around. I just found a crazy coyote trail on the other side. You can't see it, you know, if you were on, if I was driving down that trail, I would not be able to see it because the grass is so tall. But from the sky, that's fine. Crazy, crazy trail. Just hit ignore. All right. We got something over here. And from the drone, it looked like we had a beaver, so. Yeah, we got the beaver, guys, right there. We got him. Got it right there. As you can see there's the drone right there. All I did is I'm sitting on this slide right here. Circle around me. Alright guys, there he is. Here's our beaver. So we're gonna reset. See if we can't catch another one. I noticed a trap down the way with the drone is the trap is set off, so that happens. So we have a slide right here. We're just gonna put the trap back below the slide, get them coming in and out. So that's cool. We got another beaver. Yeah, yeah.
badger. He's a grumpy. He's a grumpy little badger. Perfect pad catch. I mean, it's about as good as you could ever get. He didn't dig a lot. This is that gumbo. This is rock. I mean, this is for even a badger. These, this is. You guys see me drill the holes in this thing. All right, guys. Perfect pad catch. First badger this season. Happy to get it. Very happy to get it. I'm gonna show you the pad catch and then we'll get him dispatched and I'll try to make a remake here. This is gonna be like a perfect little spot for coyotes to come in now. So I'll show you guys what we got. Oh, I need a picture. It's 10% remaining. It's not recording now, I don't think. Perfect pad catch on that guy. Stay in the center of this road. We got a perfect pad catch. You don't get any better than that. Uh, it's a nice one. Pretty much, pretty much he uh, kind of tore this up, but I want to stay in the center so don't, my traps don't get ran over. So I'm gonna keep my original bed is here. And I'm probably gonna just take some of this stuff over here. Just kind of make a mound, not, not like crazy. Oh, and make sure you check your, look at it. Make sure you check it. We're good still. We're just gonna make a, a, a slight mound there. Yeah, we're down to the swivel again. I need that dirt. Are you sure you got me in the frame? Yeah, you're in the frame. This camera will go further away. Yeah, I know. It does. It crops a lot. So I'm um, building my bed back up here. Get him out so he don't attack me. It's a beautiful, that's a big, that's a pretty big Hold badger. Him up. There you go. That's awesome. Not very often. I get one a year at least. But, uh, Always exciting. When you roll up and it looks like a raccoon, you're like, we got a coon. So I'm gonna fill some of these holes up so it's not crazy. Tore up. But we're gonna get our trap back in there. Got a, got a little bit of mud in the, where we don't want mud. So we're cleaning that out. In the night latch there. Okay, we're good. I don't have very. I gotta get this bedded down as tight as I can. We don't want the jet trap to move. I know you'll hear a lot of people say that over and over again, but you really don't. I don't have any worries of freezing right now, so I'm just. Even this wet stuff, we'll pack it in there a little bit better. So we're good. We're solid there. So the all predator, as far as I know, just caught his first badger. I mean, I'm sure someone probably, I, the all predator's been out there for, this is the second year, but this is my first badger on my all predator. I don't know if that badger last year was caught on that. It could have been. Oh. Anyways, we got a badger to this year on All Predator. If you haven't gotten it yet, here it is. Lincoln Bile, he has lures too. Those are not. No? Those are, I made, I put those together just for this. Really? Yeah. The other day. There were some other stuff came in those containers. Uh, my preservative did, so I just used them. Remember all the times we used to pound holes? I know, for real. Or like, or like uh, water on the bank. Remember when we used to, you'd be digging it out with your little shovel.
else over here. And I used the secret the that? that we're gonna it's gonna come out next year. We also used the all predator lure and now we're using the all predator bait. Now there's fish over there. There's a bunch of fish stuck in there. Then we got sheep's wool from Evie. And Jay Vendil sent me sheep's wool. I'm not, I think this, I don't know whose is whose, but boy, does it smell good. So if you happen to have a lot of sheep's wool that you don't use, I could use some. PO Box 204, Rockport, Missouri, 64482. It really smells like a farm. It's gonna, have to just, I mean, it's way better. If you can get some from somebody, it's way better than the stuff you buy. You can't duplicate that smell with fake stuff. Okay. I want to fill in this big old monster hole here. Like it was never here. And I still need to sift over just a little bit of this brown over top. Blend it all in. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty dang good. Remake. 